Hello everybody, welcome to Perfumology. This is our shop. Uh, I run this store with my mom in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, and we have a new website to introduce to you, perfumology.com. One of my favorite things about the perfume community is that I get to reach out to people on YouTube who do in fact influence my buying behavior and uh, just by talking about the things that they enjoy. So if you would please watch this and enjoy what they have to say about some of our fragrances and you can find all of them here at our store in King of Prussia or on our new website perfumology.com. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steven and I have a YouTube channel called Red Adolescence. And first things first, I just have to extend a very special thank you to my good friend Nir for having me be a part of this collaboration. I've seen the pictures of your store, Perfumology, in the King of Prussia Mall and it's absolutely gorgeous. I hope to visit one day. I was supposed to come to the grand opening but something came up. I do apologize for that. But I know you are a fantastic person. All of the correspondence that you and I have had have been amazing. This is a fragrance that is available at Perfumology and it's called Grange. It's composed by Justin Federico. It's a second release from the company, the first being Bliss. And this one is inspired by the Grange estate in PA where a creative director and his friends used to frolic about when they were younger and unbeknownst to them, there's so much history involved in the Grange estate. And this is a gorgeous vetiver based scent. It's bright, it's luminous, it's citrusy. It also has a note of Mexican lime in here, which which is also found in Bliss, and it's such a gorgeous scent. I'm so glad to have the opportunity to have this one in my collection, so thank you for extending that opportunity to me, Nier. I hope to meet you one day. I'm excited to see what everybody else has to say. Hello, my name is Carlos, and I'm from YouTube channel Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, also brooklynfragrancelover.com. Thank you, Nier, for inviting me to be a part of this collaboration. I'm happy to do it with pleasure. The fragrance that I chose for this collaboration is by Andy Towers called Lair du Desert Maracain. It's one of my favorite fragrances ever. It was released in 2005 and it is inspired by the Saharan Desert under the moonlight. You get spicy nuances, you get a little subtle florals in the middle and it's grounded by a beautiful amber and cedar note. It's a wonderful fragrance. Overall, it's dry and very reminiscent of desert weather or vibe, if you will. I also get a slight leather note in the dry down, which I also do dig a lot. I think this is a modern classic. Andy Tower, you did a wonderful job with this one right here, and I'll never be without it in my collection. Hi, I'm going to be reviewing Camel for you today. Camel was released in 2017 from the Niche House Zoologist, and the nose behind this fragrance is Christian Corbinel. This is a beautiful fragrance with a lot of really diverse notes. You have oud, vetiver, vanilla, palm date, civet, myrrh, frankincense, dried fruits, rose, orange blossoms. There's really a lot going on in this scent in all the right ways. This is a very beautiful unisex fragrance that smells warm, inviting, and very woodsy, but I like the incense in here. It makes it a little bit smoky and very opulent, and I also like that this is kind of more of a dry scent. It kind of transports you to a desert, like you're in the middle of an oasis with one of those nomadic, really opulent and rich caravans where everybody is dressed really elaborately and there's incense and roasted meats. That's what this fragrance smells like to me. It sounds a little bizarre, but it's just, it's an absolutely beautiful, lush scent while still being woodsy and dark. And there's something about it that's mysterious and sexy. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, it also has great projection and longevity. And just overall, it is an absolutely fantastic fragrance. And I definitely recommend getting your nose on this if you have the opportunity. All right, thanks. Hope you enjoyed this review. It's my second video, Nia said it wasn't enough light. Now this is a lot of light. So I know you got to be able to see me now, bruh. Nia got Perfumology, my two favorite vibes. Cause it's supposed to be one, but nah. We got a one and we got a one A. Let's get this going. I only have a minute and a half. Bam, let's go ahead and push it out and push it out. Bam, a card, number one. Hey man, ever since I saw this, I smelled it, 
I, I'm glad he had it. I wouldn't smell it any other way. I just don't think. I only had one Lubin, and that was Idol. That was it. This right here, bam, a cod. We got vanilla. We definitely got some amber. We got some woods in the background, and the thing is just princely. The thing is kingly. The thing will get you compliments. And my second one right here, one A. I'm sorry, Mrs. Glass made me do it. A combination to me of Mrs. Glass lemon sherbet and Max's maxed out. Buy 4162s. Oh man, I done bought so much stuff from me. It's unbelievable. Probably more than I bought from any other vendor. So check him out. He's up in KFP, King of Petra, Pennsylvania. Perfumology with Mom Tolly, Brian, and Nia. Check it out. What are we going to spray today? We're going to spray another 4162s, which is Mother Nature's uh, uh, naughty daughter. But that's what we got. That's all I got was one minute and a half. This is all I'm going to give you. Right, will be cool. Now to the next guy with this track hitting down in the back. Holla at your boy. I'm out. What's up? Hey everyone, Dave here with Fragrance Bros. Thank you, Nier, for having me on. Really appreciate it. Really glad to be part of this collaboration. So my choice uh, for my pick from Perfumology.com is Still Life by Olfactive Studio. Um, this is one of my favorite from Olfactive Studio. I really love Olfactive Studio's point of view. They have a really great uh, photography themed line. A lot of their fragrances are fantastic. This is one of uh, their best, I think, and it is a fresh citrusy scent. Now what I get mostly out of this is um, a citrus, which is yuzu in this case, and uh, pink pepper and cedar, and that's what I mostly get for the majority of the fragrance. What I love in particular about this citrus scent is that it's a very soft citrus. Sometimes citruses can come off kind of hard, and that's just one style, and some people really like that, but I really appreciate the ones that are on the softer side. And this is definitely that. The yuzu in this is phenomenal. It is just an incredible note in this. The pink pepper really adds kind of a spicy twinge to it, but not too much. Just makes it a little bit interesting and peaks out a little bit uh, here and there. And the cedars is the base for everything and it adds a little bit more sweetness and woodiness to uh, the dry down. It's really just a great phenomenal scent for uh, spring and summer. Now this is a unisex scent. Both men and women can wear it equally, I think. Very, very uh, good for both of them. But what I really like is when my wife wears this. So my wife loves this scent and she's been wearing it a lot since she got it. And I love it on her. I think it smells spectacular. Still Life is still one of my favorite citrusy scents and one of the best from uh, Olfactive Studio. So really, uh, really cannot recommend this enough. So that's my choice. Uh, so yeah, thank you again. Perfumology has been a wonderful addition to the shopping options for niche perfume lovers. Now I haven't been to the store, but I've spoken to Nir on several occasions and I can tell you, he's extremely passionate and very knowledgeable about niche perfumes. One of the things that struck me the most about the store was their website. It was well laid out and very easy to navigate. They have a very nice mix of big niche perfume houses and smaller artisanal brands such as 4160 Tuesdays, Galavan Perfumes, and my favorite indie perfume house, Imaginary Authors. I'm going to talk to you about their recent release, Sun Drunk, from the house of Imaginary Authors. This fragrance features neroli, rhubarb, honeysuckle, rose water, orange zest, and first kiss. I will tell you, this is currently my holy grail for citrus notes and a love at first sniff for me. Now what do I get from this fragrance? Orange zest is blended with neroli and, and rhubarb is introduced to add a little bit of tartness to the composition. You have notes like rose water and honeysuckle that adds a little bit of dimension to this composition. Honeysuckle adds a little bit of floral brightness to it and the rose note just tapers things off really nicely. Hello, my name is Joe and I'm from the channel Joe Sent Me. I'm here with a short review on Agonist Perfumes Dark Sapphire. This was a love at first sniff when I was over at Perfumology at King of Prussia Mall. This is a fantastic fall scent, guys. If you're a fan of that dark, seductive rose fragrance, this is really your fragrance. Some of the notes to mention here are violet leaf, black pepper, cumin, coriander, ginger, bergamot. We have peach and raspberry, rose, iris. It's just a bunch of stuff. And then of course the dry down is what is worth waiting for because you have oud, patchouli, 
Gaiac, Cistus, Vanilla, so many things, Tonka Bean, and all the notes, by the way, are listed right back here. So if you're interested in purchasing this fragrance, it's $195 US, available online on perfumology.com, or you can visit them at the King of Prussia Mall in Pennsylvania and come say hello to Nier. Thank you so much, and of course, if anybody asks how you heard about this, tell them Joe sent me. Hey, it's Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Our friends over at Perfumology are launching a brand new website, and I wanted to recommend a fragrance you can pick up from their store or from their new website. That fragrance is called Corrigan from the house of Luban. This one right here. What a work of art Corrigan is. It's created by perfumer Thomas Fontaine. Corrigan is an oriental vanilla fragrance like none other. Luban's Corrigan was launched in 2012 and has become a cult classic for perfumistas. This fragrance is nothing like anything I have ever experienced before or I have in my collection, especially when I break down the notes. According to Luban, this is the magician of the caramel forest, and it's certainly that. What's unique about Corrigan is that there isn't a caramel note listed here at all. But what you get is the most stunning, a very milky caramel accord against the backdrop of the most gorgeous, woody, and toasty leather notes. It's a very delicious, boozy, woody, leathery, musky experience. And this is definitely not a traditional gourmand perfume. This is very, very, very unique. So if you want to find out more about Corrigan by Luban or any other fragrances from the house of Luban like Idole or Akkad, please make sure to visit Perfumology's new website or stop into their store to find out all the fragrances they have. Thank you. Hello everyone, Max Forte here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this video is a shout out, a thank you. I wanted to take a moment to thank Perfumology and your guy. Perfumology is located at King of Prussia, PA. I've known your guy for quite a while. All I can say is he's a very patient guy, he's very knowledgeable and he's a gentleman. He'll take you through and guide you through your fragrant journey, whether you're looking for something for yourself or for that special someone. Which takes me to my next point, which was my latest pickup from Perfumology, which was from Bodicea de Victoria's. This is seductive. The name is quite fitting to this composition. Opens up with this amazing minty iris kind of a combo, which brings way to this white musk very seductive and sensual patchouli, which is understated, but definitely luscious. But to say the Victoria Seductive is definitely one of those scents that's not really bold, brash, or in your face loud. Seductive is definitely one of those fragrances that you want to wear for those special occasions, those close encounters with that special someone. Thank you so much, Nier, for having me as part of this collaboration with Perfumology, guys. Stay tuned for a lot more. And Nier, I hope to see you soon at the shop. Take care.